Hello, my name is Brandon McCain, and I'm a product marketing manager for Migrations at Atlassian. Today, I'll be giving an overview of how Bitbucket Cloud differs from the server and data center offerings you may already be familiar with. We're going to be highlighting the most significant differences and sharing the latest improvements that we've made to the product. Let's talk about continuous integration and continuous delivery, also known as CICD. We know that setting up a CI-CD pipeline is a complex and arduous task with many different tools. If you're using our products to establish a CI-CD pipeline, you're probably using Bamboo, our self-managed continuous integration deployment server. Understanding the need for simplicity in the cloud, we've removed the need for another CI-CD product. Bitbucket Cloud has CI-CD built in, providing tight integrations with the Atlassian tools you know and love. Bitbucket simplifies the way you build, deploy, and test. There's no CI server to set up, user management to configure, or repositories to synchronize. Pipelines is managed as code, so all you have to do is commit a YAML file and set the environment variables. With just a few more clicks, you can actually run a pipeline, and in less than a couple minutes, you're running your builds. You'll also have transparency into what's going on. You'll see build statuses everywhere. You'll see them in the branches tab. You'll see them in the commits tab and the pull request tab, all giving you more visibility and more transparency into what's going on. If you're familiar with Bitbucket server or data center, you're likely very familiar with the pull request screen. Here, you can see all the pull requests for a particular repository. And here you can see the specifics of the code that needs to be reviewed, as well as any open tasks related to JIRA issues. In Bitbucket Cloud, you'll also have a screen where you can see all your open pull requests, but it's been enhanced to provide an improved pull request experience. I have a lot of filterable options, pull requests I'm watching, pull requests I've created myself, or just pull requests that relate to the team that I'm a part of. If I take a look at a specific pull request, I actually have a lot more information about the changes that have been made and ready to be merged back into the repository. Who made them? what changes that they've actually made, and a diff of the actual files that have been changed and what changed in each of them. I can also enforce merge checks with designated approvers, and I can easily approve or unapprove by clicking a button in the top right corner when necessary. Context switching is a developer's worst enemy, but Bitbucket and Jira Cloud together are combating that. In JIRA, you're still able to create branches directly from a JIRA issue, and you can view contextual development and deployment information from Bitbucket within the JIRA issue. You also have access to more information just directly from JIRA about Bitbucket branches with tabs corresponding to your branch, commits, pull requests, builds, deployments, and more. You can also hold discussions directly in the code. If we navigate to a particular pull request, we can see that we can leave comments and create tasks directly in the code. And in the cloud, we've made it a little bit easier to keep track of all your work. On the right-hand side, you'll see several cards, and these will keep track of your tasks, issues, and also provide you insights as well as a few other things. You can also automatically transition issues between Bitbucket actions. So we can move this to in progress when we're beginning to action it without ever having to leave Bitbucket. You can also easily approve or unapprove a particular merge request by clicking the button in the top right hand corner when necessary. Around 90% of applications contain open source packages and about 70% of those packages contain at least one security flaw. That's why Bitbucket has partnered with Sneak to make a tightly bound integration directly in the tool. If you haven't heard of Sneak before, they're a market leader in developer security. If you haven't connected to Sneak before through Bitbucket, you'll see a tab named Security in your Bitbucket repository. That tab will give you more information about how Sneak works and how to enable the integration. Once you've connected, you'll see a new tab called Sneak right in your repositories. Once configured, Sneak will scan for package dependencies in the manifest as well as Docker files you have in your source control. Here, you'll see the total number of vulnerabilities found in your repository, and they're grouped in a high, medium, and low category grouping. That's pretty easy to understand. By clicking on this hyperlink here, you'll get additional information on vulnerabilities found in your dependencies. You'll also notice that there's some contextual information as well as advice on how to fix these issues. 
To help prioritize these risks, you're going to have access to Sneak's priority score alongside each one of the vulnerabilities. Sneak's score is created by weighing the maturity of an exploit, the severity, as well as other variables, so you always know what should be action first. With this type of proactive repo scanning accessible right alongside your code and in everyday workflow, you can see new vulnerabilities as they emerge, allowing you to proactively resolve issues during development rather than wait for security to later hand them down as an urgent ticket right before or after having shipped to production. But it's not only important for the person writing the code, but also reviewing the code to understand what risks they might be introducing. On the cards on the right-hand side, you'll see that Sneak is able to show us the vulnerabilities of a pull request and what it might be introducing through our builds, making it easier to get context about what issues are present in the code before we actually merge them in. We also have the ability to set up pipes. Pipes are a great way to extend your workflow in a plug-and-play fashion. You can use pre-configured pipes to build and share and you don't have to remember app-specific integration syntax just to fill out the information. It's just plug and play. Fill it out and go. You can set up a sneak pipe to ensure that we're always checking the app when we build and deploy. You can set up a sneak pipe within your template files, similar to what you're seeing on the screen right now. The sneak pipe can act as the final check against your files and containers, while also acting as a safeguard in your build process. Based on your configuration, you can test and monitor at any point in the CI workflow. Results are then displayed in the Bitbucket pipeline's output and can also be monitored directly from Sneak. This page is something you're likely very familiar with in Bitbucket server or data center, allowing you to configure most of the settings you would need to make Bitbucket work the way you need and wanted to. In the cloud, we've kept many of these great features while adding a few new ones. One that comes to mind is deployment permissions. Deployment permissions gives teams control over who can deploy to a given environment, for example, only letting certain developers deploy to the main branch. This is customizable per environment and helps ensure that the right people are deploying the right code. In addition to that, you can also add certain levels of security. For example, you can now require users to have two-step verification, also known as two-factor authentication, enabled in order to interact with Bitbucket. So if they want to view, push, or clone any of the repositories, they're going to need to have it enabled. Previously, you would have had to purchase an app via the, one of our partners to get this type of functionality. In addition to all these great features, we're also introducing some really interesting administrative features in the near future. We have things such as project level settings and permissions coming out, as well as audit logs for Bitbucket Cloud. To keep up to date with all of those important administrative features coming in the near future, you should check out our roadmap for yourself. And that brings us to a close. Hopefully you've enjoyed this overview and walked away understanding how cloud can improve developer productivity. With best-in-class Jira integration, native integrations and automation across the DevOps lifecycle, and native integration with a market-leading tool for developer security. If you're ready to try out Bitbucket Cloud today, click on the box in the top right-hand corner, or visit the Atlassian Migration Center for more information.